Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America. The highly praised religious fiction, Did She Know Jesus? The Tale of Two Women from Virginia Penrose is her first book. Virginia was born in Texas, lived her first 18 years there and abroad. She has traveled overseas extensively. She has a BS degree in communications, telecommunications management from DeVry University in Irving, Texas, currently working in technology. Virginia has been a Christian for 30 years, doing all types of work in the church, now focusing on her writing. The author of Did She Know Jesus? The Tale of Two Women, Virginia Penrose, our guest on This Week in America. Hi, Virginia. Welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us. Thank you, Rick. It's been uh, fun reading the book and reading about the book, and it's doing so well, especially for a first book. You've made a lot of uh, uh, of fans with, with the first book. Tell us a little bit about the, the story. Where does the story take place? And then we'll get into some of the uh, the interesting aspects of the book, Did She um, Know Jesus? Where did it take place? It starts, it starts out in South Texas um, with, with Elaine's... Um, father dying and then it, the book ends in Iraq. <laughs> it covers a lot of territory. It covers it goes all over the world. <laughs> well, yes, like you have, I mentioned being born in Texas and, and traveling over the world. And I'll talk about that impact travel has had on you as a person and your writing as the program goes on. But did you know Jesus, the tale of two women? Talk about who the two women are. Well, the two women was, um, I, I was in London for Prince of Sai's funeral. And um, um, my family crest was registered in Cornwall, England, in 1109. I was born in Texas, but um, there is a Penrose estate in Cornwall. Um, we don't; the family doesn't own it anymore. And I mean, the Princess Di and I are about. I was a little bit older than she was, and um, our lives are somewhat different, and but they're similar in some ways. I mean, I grew up overseas, where she went skiing in Switzerland. I was there. So we lived in Germany. My parents lived in Germany for six years. Um, so we had some similarities. My father died when I was 15. And. Yet there are a lot of similarities, died. aren't they? Yeah, and, you know, I mean, if, if, you know, history would have been different. And because my grand, great grandfather had migrated to the state in the United States, we were, <laughs> I was doing my best in Cornwall. <laughs> The, the book we're talking about is Did She Know Jesus? The Tale of Two Women by Virginia Penrose. You find the book at westbowpress.com in the bookstore. Click on directly uh, to that website by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You talked a little bit about your heritage. Give us a little more information there because that's that's very important, once again, to who you are and, and to the story. Um, I, I, w- I went to um, London and Cornwall in 1997. And I um, flew to I flew to Paris first, and I walked by the site of the accident where Princess died, and I saw these teddy bears. And um, so then I took the train from London from Paris to London, and then I rented a car and I drove to Cornwall for and I stayed at this, this bed and breakfast for a week. Um, and then I was in London for the day of Princess Di's funeral, and the whole city closed down, and I went to Cornwall and. The little people, the people at the bed and breakfast were really sweet. They said, she's Cornish. <laughs> she's well, yes. American, but she's Cornish. And I stayed at the bed and breakfast, and I went around there. I mean, my ancestors were, were pirates, and, and I mean. Oh, fascinating, and, 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 yes. Know, it's very, Cornwall is beautiful. It's a beautiful place. And I hope you got a good rate there. Did they give you a, a, a family discount at the, uh, at the estate? It, it was not very expensive to stay in Cornwall at a bed and breakfast. <laughs> so, okay, so you got a good deal. That part of it worked out. Let's go back and and talk about the mood in uh, in London at the time. It, it, after the accident, the, the shock in finding out that Diana had passed, and, and, and the funeral. Give me some of your thoughts, your observations, being there during this pivotal, uh, pivotal moment in history. Well, I, I, I went to a pub, and I'm not much of a drinker, and I sit there and I have to drink a beer and I watch the Queen on TV and um, there was flowers all over the city. There was flowers all over. They had to ship flowers in from Israel. There was women in the streets crying. But there was people the day the day of her funeral. They they stay they slept in sleeping bags so they could watch the history. 
Um, yes. I mean, it was a very pivotal day, and there was a bunch of tourists like me running around watching the whole thing. Because all, I mean, all the tours got canceled. They closed all the restaurants, a lot of the restaurants. Um, so it was just very sad. Well, sad. What was it like personally for you to to be there? I mean, you you live in the U.S. You've got uh, certainly knowledge of Diana, but wasn't uh, uh, you weren't a, a citizen over there? What was it like for you mm-hmm. and your thoughts? Maybe a little bit different perspective because you knew her from all the media accounts, the uh, the good that she had done in the world. How did this impact you, especially at that time? At the time, it was just really. I mean, they were so. I mean. I mean, they were really sad for her. They loved her a lot. I mean, it was really sad. I mean, they were really, just really sad about her, her death. Um, so I, I had, I never knew that I was going to end up that day in London. I mean, I bought the plane tickets months before that. Oh, yes. I planned my trip very carefully. I would have never dreamed I would have ever been in London for that day. But I'm glad I did because it was just. Just kind of, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a memory that you, you know, will never uh, diminish in your mind. I mean, you were there during some very, uh, very emotional times in the country. The book is "Did She Know Jesus?" The Tale of Two Women. Virginia Penrose is the author and our guest. You'll find the book available at WestbowPress.com in their bookstore. A few more thoughts on, on the Penrose estate. This had to be fun to be there with the. With the knowledge, did you know a lot of the, the the family history before you went there, or was this something you learned after the fact? Well, I, I, I before I went to Cornwall, I read as many. I would go to the library and I would read all the books on English history, Cornwall history, Cornish history. I read every book I could find. I, I knew all the spots. Um, it's you know, it's very beautiful there, and I knew a lot of history before I went over there. I you know, planned my trip very carefully, um, and it was a, it was a really good trip. <laughs> the worst thing was, um, I it was really hard driving on the opposite side of the road. That would take some I getting think. used to, and just about the that time you get hard, used to it, well, yeah, you get well, used to you it. You had to think so much. Well, yes, it's you know, it, instinct. Now you hop in the car and you take off, and you really don't have, think in your mind, I've got to be on the right side of the road here. And uh, then you, over there, becomes instinctive, and then you come back here and you're on the wrong side of the road for the first couple of weeks until you realize I, I, I'm not in England anymore. So it's a, you know, it, it's a challenge to do that. What was that experience like? It had to answer a lot I of questions. I just had to think a lot. Well, yeah, yeah. To stay on that side of the road. You know, yeah, go, going over there and have, yes, it's just a you know, totally different experience over there. In going to to uh, the estate, Penrose Estate, what did that mean for you personally? It's sort of like it filled in a lot of the blanks, didn't it? I mean, you can read about the family history, but when you actually walk in the steps that some of your ancestors walked in, it had to make what history come come alive to, uh, for you. Yes, it did. It really did. I mean, there there's blue bonnet. The cover of the book has a blue bonnet. Yes. Because um, it's in State Flower, Texas, and that's where I was born. And but. And um, on the Pinner's estate in Cornwall, they have bluebells. <laughs> bluebells. And the yes. estate was sold back in the 1700s to another family. Um, so we went, um, so, and I also, in the book, I went to um, Australia, and um, my, my grandfather was born over there in, in New South Wales, and now there was a Pinner's National Forest over there in New South Wales between um, Sydney and Canberra. <laughs> so interesting. You know, I see my my English history all over the place. Well, yeah. Wherever you travel, there's a Penrose reference that's uh, that's there for you. In the book, the book, did she know Jesus? The tale of two women. Uh, Elaine is the character we follow. Is that basically you? In many ways, it's me. It's just me. Um, I just didn't want to write it. I mean, I'm, I, it's not always. There's some changes in there yes. in the book. And it's it's labeled as fiction, and um, yeah. But basically, Elaine and me are the same person. Well, yeah, you've got you've got Elaine and you've got Diana, and, and talk about how how the lives are similar. Then we'll talk about how they're different. Um, I don't think I mean I can see Princess Diana doing technical support for a living and having a degree in IT, 
but she was very bright. She loved clothes. She's, I mean, she loved clothes. Her, her fashion, her clothes were beautiful. I could never be that, like that. Um, um, I, I, I'm, um, I never got married. Um, but we, you know, I've had we've had romantic um, things in the, in the past. I don't see. I mean, I went to a war zone in 2003, and um, I was in Kuwait and Iraq for a while. And I don't know if that means you just you know. I mean, I didn't expect to end up in Kuwait and Iraq, but I ended up over there. And that's where that's where the book ends is in Iraq. Yeah, the, the beginning at the beginning of the war. The book is "Did She Know Jesus?" The tale of two women. Talk about the title. Where did you come up with the title? <clears throat> it's just standing in London that day. I just remember feeling overwhelmed. I mean, the whole city closed down. The whole city closed down, and I mean, I mean, she had so much going for her. You just wondered, and I guess I'm a very strong Christian, and I was wondering, and I just kept thinking, did did she know him? I mean, I've had I've been a Christian a long time. I spent time with reading my Bible, and and um, I just wondered if, she, with all of that going on, all those people, did she did she have a personal relationship with him? And that's why I kind of wrote the book the way I did. When the thought comes to you as you're thinking, I wonder what her relationship was. How did that evolve into the decision to write the book? I mentioned it, it's your first book. Talk about that process. Was How did it go from this idea, as you're standing over there viewing what was going on, trying to take it all in, to being a book? I don't really know. I, <laughs> I was praying. I really wanted, I really. I, I prayed a lot, and um, that was the way the book carried it out. And I was praying a lot. I didn't know whether... I mean, I, I nobody I read the book before I sent it to the publisher. No, no one person. I just remember hitting that submit button and sending off. I you know, I just I was praying that the book would come out really good and um, so I just Well I don't you know, I just it did, it and it's getting excellent reviews. The first book, are you working on other books now? Has this really got you yes, going I, to I think about second, writing? Ooh. Yeah, I have a second book out. It came out last year. It's called The Pilot. Um, it, it, it's different. It's, it's about it's about abortion. Um, so it's not very long. But, I mean, I wrote that book. I, people told me, I mean, books about abortion do not sell. Well, I didn't really sell, write The Pilot to, um, to sell. Right. I, and I, I wanted to change the abortion law. So the pilot is out there. I, you know, it's, it's, you know, I think Roe versus Wade needs to be overchanged, overturned, and so the book is out there. It takes a stand against abortion. So I mean, now is that available at Westbo as well? Yeah, it's also on the website too. Okay, that's westbowpress.com in the bookstore. You can uh, link out, of course, at our website thisweekinamerica.us to get information on. Uh, the Virginia's book, the second one that we're talking about there. Uh, we're going to play some music here in a second, but what do you hope the reader gets from reading the book, Did She Know Jesus? What do you hope our takeaway is? I think I hope that they, 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 they look at Elaine's life and think, what is it about Jesus that, 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 that she is so much in love with him that, they, that, that maybe they want to accept him in their heart? You know, maybe they will... Yes. Except him because he is a wonderful, loving God, and I love him so much. And um, having a personal relationship with him is the best thing that there is. I mentioned we're going to listen to some music here at the at the end of the program. Tell us about the song, and then we will listen to it. Um, the song is about that day in London and the way I felt. And um, I don't sing too much, but I did write the song, so it's about it's about that whole experience. <laughs> that day in London. And it's really well done. Let's listen to that song and then we'll come back and, and wrap up today's program. Here's the uh, song written by Virginia Penrose, our guest on the program. Elaine, always remember that London day. 
She stood in the crowd and watched all the people. Some had sleeping bags on the sidewalks. The whole city had closed down for her funeral. They were waiting for a piece of his story. Elaine wondered, was she washed in the blood? Saved by his grace? Did she walk with him daily? Did she know her Lord Jesus? Elaine had seen the flowers all over town. She had walked by the site of the accident in Paris. She had seen the Queen on TV. She had seen the newspapers in the stands. Elaine wondered, was she washed in the blood? Saved by his grace? Or did she walk with him daily? Or did she know her Lord Jesus? She had been beautiful. She had talent. been loved but was she washed in the blood saved by his grace did she walk with him daily did she know her Lord Jesus did she walk with him daily did she know her Lord Jesus Very nicely done. How long after the event did you did it take for you to write that? That song that was written this last last year. I I worked on it for a long time and it finally came together. I took guitar lessons and figured out how to write the music. And um, that's just, I went to a recording studio and I had somebody sing the song since I'm not very I don't sing very well. So um, and that. It came out. Pre- I, I I think the song came out good. In my opinion, I like it. So it really it really did, and has a, a very powerful message to it, as well as the message in the book. Did she know Jesus? The Tale of Two Women by our guest on the program, Virginia Penrose. The book and Virginia's other book available at WestbowPress.com in the bookstore. Of course, the usual places. And if you go to our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us, you can link on directly to Westbow and get information on the books. Virginia, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. Uh, thank you so much. Hopefully we can do this again. Thank you for taking time to uh, to be with us on the show. Okay, thank you very much. It's been a nice talking to you. Have a good day. Thank you. It's been fun, and you as well. Virginia Penrose, Did She Know Jesus? The Tale of Two Women. The book, of course, available, as I say, at westbowpress.com in the bookstore. Link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back on today's program right after these messages. <laughs> 